Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Colin, welcome to my channel. Um, so I just finished my cybersecurity degree not too long ago and I wanted to do this video to talk about the pros and the cons of having a cybersecurity degree and whether you even need one at all to get into the industry. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So cybersecurity is an extremely unique industry in that to actually get a job in cybersecurity, having a degree really isn't the biggest factor. So I spent four years doing this degree and many thousands of dollars doing this degree. And I just wanted to address the pros and the cons. And at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna be talking about um, if I could do it over again, what I would actually do. So in the simplest form, I really see that there are two paths to get into the field of cybersecurity. You can take the traditional approach like I did and go for four years and get a bachelor's of science in cybersecurity or computer science, or you can take a non-traditional approach and go the self-study uh, certification route, or you can come from another major and do the self-study to supplement that cybersecurity knowledge. Both of these options really have their pros and their cons, and I'm gonna be running through those in this video. And we're gonna be starting off with the approach that I took, the four-year college approach. So the first pro of the four-year college approach is that that looks really good on your resume. Um, so having a four-year degree um, from a reputable college really shows the company that you're applying for that you spent the time and you spent the money to actually go out and get this experience. It really depends on the, the degree program that you're in, but for example, for me, I went to Penn State University and they have a really, really strong cybersecurity program. So going into interviews, I really knew that this was a strong thing that was on my resume. So another plus side about doing the traditional approach and doing the four-year college degree is that you have the opportunity to do internships. And this is really where I see the best value in your college, your college degree and, and going this route. I got the most value from my internships. So I did two separate internships. The first one, I had a summer internship, and then the second one, I had a co-op that actually transitioned in from being a co-op to a part-time work while I was working at school, and now it's where I'm working as a consultant right now. I definitely would have not had this opportunity if I had not gone the four-year degree route. So the internship really allows you to apply all these concepts that you've learned in the classroom and allows you to apply it in a real world scenario where people are depending on you and where there are actual consequences. And this is really important in your actual development because it really does prepare you for that job. And not only does it prepare you for a job and it looks good on a resume, but it also gives you that time and that experience to actually decide where you want to go. Because cybersecurity is an extremely broad field. And having this internship experience really exposes you to all of these different areas. And that will allow you to, when you actually graduate from that program, or when it's time for you to get a real job in cybersecurity, to actually just choose the path that you want to get on. Um, choosing this path early on in your career, while it's not totally essential for you in your development, it's really good to actually get that head start and to begin to, to focus in and, and start taking, for example, certifications that are more relevant to that specific path that you wanna take. So the third benefit with going the college route is that it allows you to create a very wide network. And this is extremely important. And college exposes you to various clubs and various professors and, and study groups and all of, these different, all of these different groups that you can become a member of and network. And this really goes a far way and you really start to realize it when you graduate college, that you have friends in all of these different industries, you know professors that are doing certain different types of research that you can ask about and this this again just increases your exposure in the industry so the fourth and final benefit of the college route that I'm going to be talking about today is and this might actually come as a surprise to some people but I really think that going the college route helps you uh, really nail in the basic concepts and bear with me for a second while I explain this but I think that if you're going the self self-taught route it is really hard to 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 actually devote yourself and force yourself to go over the basic fundamental uh, cybersecurity concepts or even just IT or networking concepts. And I, I think that through these classes, even though they could be painful uh, if you're a freshman or a sophomore, 
um, to actually go through these entry entry level classes, uh, you really call upon these skills that you build later on in your career, and you don't actually realize it until until you really start working in the industry. So this isn't exactly a knock on the going the non college route because you can actually devote this time. But you definitely need to make sure that you're being conscious of understanding the fundamental concepts. So now that we talked about the pros, let's jump into the cons. And the first con that I'm going to say is the time investment. Four years is a massive time investment. Um, just to put that into perspective, I think that if you went the self-taught route, you could really get up to speed. You could get up to the same level um, generally within one year, and that would be one intense year of taking certifications, taking online courses, uh, watching videos, reading online articles, staying up to date with the newest security research. So that four-year time investment is a massive amount of time. And just to put that into perspective, let's just talk about the self-taught route. So if you went the self-taught route and you spent one year doing a very intense regimen of getting certifications, getting yourself ready for the job, and then say in a perfect scenario, you got that job after one year, you'd be working for three years. So you'd have three years of work experience before that say I graduated college after four years. So I would be a total newbie to the industry. I would have a lot of knowledge, but it would be less applied than you after three years of working in the field. So that's just something to consider. And do not forget the fact that you would be getting paid for this entire time duration. While when I was in college, I was paying to, to learn, obviously. Just to add one more thing to that, so those three years that you would be working, most companies in the cybersecurity industry, it's pretty standard that they'll invest in your continued education. So you can continue to take certifications during that time period and further progress yourself and actually just further niche down into the topic that, or, the, or the subject area that you're really interested in. And, and after three years, you could be pretty, you could be pretty uh, honed in on your area of expertise. So secondly, we have the money. Um, college is not cheap. Really, no matter how you split it, unless you're getting a full ride, um, you, college is very expensive. Cost is definitely a massive factor. There are a lot of things that you can do to actually, to actually cut the cost in your college education, but no matter what, it's gonna be in the order of thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. Um, they're gonna, there could be multiple ways, like you could take classes at community colleges um, to supplement some of your general education. Uh, you could go for certain scholarships, certain community scholarships, um, but either way, it's gonna cost more than doing it yourself. Even, let's put this into perspective, even if you spent those four years just constantly getting certifications, even if, even if there were SAN certifications, so I'm taking a SAN certification right now, it's about, they're, they're about $8,000 each. That's about, depending on the university that you're at, that's about one semester. So if you took one SANS course every, every single semester during that time where you would have been spending that in college, I really think that that's a better use of your money, but, the question is, what does the recruiter actually think about this when they see it on your resume? So that's definitely a tough question. I cannot specifically answer it right here, but I, I personally think that, that your money would actually be better spent uh, on, those, on those certifications if you, if you chose to spend that much money. So the third con to the college education, I think, is that you have to, and this also ties into the time period, but these general education courses, um, you probably will at the end, depending on colleges, spend about 40 credits doing general education. Um, th that also ties into the cost as well because you're paying for these courses that are not benefiting your cybersecurity knowledge. Uh, for example, I took a geology course. That's, that's never going to help me in cybersecurity. It was interesting, um, but it, it's just never going to help me. So that's definitely something to consider. If there was a, a, a way to get a cybersecurity degree without taking these general educations, maybe this wouldn't be a con, uh, but that's definitely something to, to consider. So now that I laid out the pros and the cons of going the college route or the self-taught route, uh, we're just gonna be talking and relating this to, to my personal story and how I actually feel uh, about the fact that I just spent four years in college for cybersecurity and really how that's helping me out right now. So off the bat, I'm gonna say, I do not regret going to college for cybersecurity. That's not to say that I, 
think that the entire four years was was totally focused on getting me into the field of cybersecurity and totally beneficial. Um, there are a lot of things that I would improve. Looking back at it, there are some things that I would change. I think that it would have been better for me personally to major in computer science or data science. Um, that's because the entire time I was in college for cybersecurity, I was doing out, a lot of outside work, a lot of outside projects. I had internships um, and I was working part time. So I think that I was getting all of the cybersecurity knowledge and education that I needed from that. Personally, I, I really don't learn very well uh, from just sitting in a classroom and hearing a professor uh, rattle off acronyms at me. Um, so I was doing a lot of, even, even including this YouTube channel and uh, websites that I've worked on, um, I've just been really dedicated to, to providing content and, and guides uh, in cybersecurity, so I think that that really helped me out along the way. So going back to it, I think that computer science or data or data science um, really would have helped me just become more well-rounded. Um, again, it's not stuff that that is really hurting me because I also was interested in that stuff, so I was doing that on the side as well. But um, just from a standpoint of where I spent my money, I wish I would have spent it on that, getting way more technical with computer science education. Again, don't let me sound like I'm knocking college altogether. I made a massive amount of connections. All, all of these connections are in different industries, uh, doing different levels of research. I'm always in touch with them. I'm working with some of them uh, currently. Um, and I just think that that is something that college provided to me that was well worth, well worth the value, uh, just that exposure. Um, also, in addition, I am very thankful of all the clubs that I was able to join in my time at college. Uh, this definitely increased my exposure to CTFs, um, any, all of these different exercises and projects that we worked on together. These were all things that shaped me um, and, and helped me build that foundational knowledge. So just a quick video today on the, the pros and the cons of the college route that I chose to take to get into cybersecurity. Um, I hope you found this beneficial. Um, if you took either one of these routes, I would really like to hear from you in the comments. Um, every, this is a community. I think that a lot of the members of the community really benefit from, from the action that's happening in the comments section. I'll definitely be down there answering any of your questions, so please let me know. And please remember to hit the like button on this video